as a boost to their incomes, staffs of Aurora Regional Faro Hospital were on 9th of May 2024 tipped an ad to take on poultry keeping so as to supplement on their salaries. This was during a meeting with Matua Job Richard, the assistant resident city commission in charge of central division at the hospital, where Charles Amandu, an expert poultry farmer, educated the staffs on the basics of the business. Some of the medical staffs whom we spoke to shortly after the engagement appreciate the move and say they are willing to put it into practice as soon as possible. I realize that most of the most of the conditions that sends us uh, the patients here yeah, are just because of their social and economic status. So, but this presentation has really enlightened us that if we take up uh, the chicken uh, business, you, you are able to start. We realize most of the our community people they have chicken there, but people are my their mindset is not well oriented. Uh, we realize that this is a business that can be sustained. Only that we we need to pick up from the from the presentations. This is something which is uh, practical can be done. Uh, but in our society, there are people who don't have the mind to, to maintain or sustain the. The, the business. So, but from today's morning, I'm so delighted that at least um, I'm so grateful and hopeful that we can pick up from here. We are really very grateful for what they have told us because uh, actually we didn't have the much knowledge about their culture, what they have told us. But from today, at least we have we we have got the knowledge that they have empowered us with, and we are really positively we are going to take up. Maybe with the poultry or agriculture, we shall really have that positive mind. Charles Amandua, the chief executive officer of Genesis Agri Farm Technologies Limited, who took the staffs on the basics of poultry keeping, encouraged them to venture into rearing of the local breed chicken over the exotic ones due to its enormous advantages. Well, uh, actually, there are so many reasons. One, the local chicken are self-sustaining. They can give you the reason why they the local chicken is better. I think this is one thing. Yeah, they can raise their own parents stock unlike the exotic. Two, they are hardy in the sense that they are disease resistant, they don't die anyhow. Three, their meat quality is better. Products are better yes. and fetch more money. Fourthly, about the meat quality, it's that medical aspect of it. Yes. You know, these broilers take a lot of drugs, they are, they are, which become inducing agents for cancer and water view. Yet yeah, this one, local one, very organic. Yeah. Okay. The local actually fetch more money. Dr. Alex Andema, the director of Regional Far Hospital, lauded Matu and the team for coming to talk to the health workers on social economic empowerment. Uh, our fathers, I think in that we want to thank you so, so much for coming to open our eyes. And we have learned quite a lot from your visit and interaction. And you are a vision of social economic change among people, including the health workers, and, and everybody, thank you so, so much for that. Matua, who recently got deployed to the Central Division as Assistant Resident City Commissioner, says he's coming to the city, is to make the President's vision of socioeconomic transformation a reality. I am a priest of a bishop of uh, socioeconomic transformation of Uganda, an ideology of socioeconomic transformation of Uganda. That bishop is President Yori Museven Kaguta. I am a priest of that bishop. My role is to come here and mobilize the population to embrace government program of socioeconomic transformation of, of our society. So I am going to, in effect, positively everybody, civil servant, non-civil servant, Christians, Muslim, pagan, everybody is going to be positively infected to embrace the gospel of socioeconomic transformation so that our society can shift socioeconomically. Over 50 employees of the hospital got the knowledge on poultry keeping, and what awaits them now is implementation. Farish Majid, West Nile TV, Nalcast.